Okay, um, today's the great day and I said I would do, I'm doing what I said I would do. I'm uh, getting this uh, signed wood ready to send out. Let's show you what I'm doing. I've cut the wood obviously, that was cut on Saturday, today's Monday. And uh, we're um, packing it today. What I'm going to do is working from this master list, which is all of the uh, requests that people have made, I'm going to make up the right number of um, individual packets of wood. And when all of the wood has been packeted, then uh, has, been, has been actually wrapped in individual um, little packs, then it's going to be... Well, I apologise some of the newspaper I'm wrapping this up in. <laughs> uh, Daily Mail, uh, that my um, mother-in-law reads and gives us to light the fire with. Best use for it in most cases. Okay. Um, Labelling. I'm you know, to save time. I'm um, uh, just doing it shorthand. So PP Pitmaster and Pineapple. That's all going to be clear enough. So that's a label, and here's some wood. Um, some it's a little bit too long um, to fit in. I'm going to shorten that a little bit. Uh, what I'm doing is um, I'm sealing the ends with wax. I've got some Tenax wax here. Um, good old um, Tenax wax. This is some old wax that I'm. I've just melting this um, by putting it in um, a cup of hot water. You have to renew the hot water every now and then, soaking it in a little hot water. And I'm just dipping the ends in um, hot wax to seal them. I don't know if that makes any difference, but it can't do any harm, and it would just tend to prevent them wrapping, uh, tend to prevent them drying out. Okay, so they should reach you in better condition. When we've um, finished this job, we should be left with about 40 piles of, um, I'll show you what, little, little, little individual wrappers, and then we will go through the master um, document and and everything will, and they'll be packed up individually. I'll show you what I mean, I mean to that in a moment. All right, so I'm soaking this. This is water in which uh, a spoonful, there's about um, three pints of water there, and I put one spoonful of sodium hypochlorite in it. So it's an extremely dilute, um, uh, extremely dilute um, hydrochlor hypochlorite. It will just reduce the risk of any fungus growing in here during this couple of days or so. This will be in the post. There we are, one um, packet of uh, pitmaston pineapple. What I'm putting it down here with the others, um, I'm going to make 17 uh, like this. These um, little packs, I'm going to make 17 of these. And um, the, tip, the average order is sort of three or four. Three. So they will then go in three or four different signs. They'll then go in there and that will be um, sealed. And um, what I've done over here uh, is, I'm not going to show this in detail obviously because it's uh, confidential, um, but on, on some sticky back paper uh, I've printed out a list of the addresses. These are the addresses that you gave me and uh, these tie up with um, the, uh, I've got another document which shows where the actual, um, what the actual orders were, who wanted what. And so we'll go through, but right, here's um, you know, here's, uh, shall we say, Carly Simon of um, Newcastle, and she wants a um, bit of kids, a bit of uh, May Queen, a bit of all the answer in that. Right, pack that, seal it, bang. And when we've got enough of those, we'll go down to the post office. Uh, this is, again, this is slightly too long. Um, so I'll, I'll be using these for the typical smaller order. That's a little bit too long. I've got some bigger ones for bigger orders, and... A few of you want to plant whole orchards, and um, so obviously I'll be wrapping up a big, um, uh, a, a separate parcel for that. Yeah, there's a few of you. I, I'll read. I won't read out a list of people's names, obviously, but uh, later on I will read out a list of um, where everyone's from. Uh, there's about fifty people all together who've wanted. Um, there's about 50 of you have, have requested um, wood, and several of those um, are more or less planting whole orchards, which is just really marvellous. When we started doing this, we sort of dreamed of um, 
uh, you know, helping kick start some sort of renaissance of um, the old, uh, the rare old heritage apple varieties. It hasn't happened in the way that we thought. You know, very few things. You know, whether your first job, your marriage, your children, um, all sorts of things that you set out to do. Very often they don't turn out to be exactly what you thought they would be, and you have to adapt and change direction on the wing. But you know, one of my favourite um, proverbs uh, or sayings, I think it uh, it can be expressed in more than one uh, way. Cardinal uh, John Henry Newman uh, is said to have um, given us the phrase, uh, "The man who never made a mistake, never made anything." And um, a similar way, another way of expressing the same sort of sentiment is um, uh, how to avoid criticism, say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. <laughs> another way of putting the same thing is, um, same sentiment, I think very valuable sentiment, is um, if you attempt nothing, you can be certain that you will achieve it. Anyway, uh, we're getting on there now. I better start counting those, we don't want to do too many. Uh, we've got a load of wood to get through today.